Jamie, welcome to Mansfield Town Football Club. What are your initial observations and comments after signing a two-year contract here? Yeah, obviously I'm, I'm delighted to be here. Um, I'm really happy, I'm really grateful for the opportunity um, and the platform to play at a higher level and play in the Football League. Um, it's something that I wanted to do and yeah, I'm just really excited to get going now. I understand you had a lot of clubs after you. Um, I, had a, I had a couple of conversations with other, other teams. Um, obviously, it's really nice to, to get that sort of attraction, um, especially in the pandemic we're in and, and we've been in. I wasn't expecting any uh, interest until late, late June, early July, uh, until league started knowing what they were doing. But when I heard that Mansfield were interested, obviously that was a massive attraction for me. It's a, it's a big club with ambition. Um, the setup round here is, is absolutely brilliant and that's the sort of working environment um, I want to come to. So yeah, I'm delighted to, delighted to be at Mansfield. And you come to this club on the crest of a wave, don't you? A double wave, in fact, because you've had two tremendous seasons with Torquay. Tell us about them. Yeah, I did. Um, I've been at Torquay for a few years and my loans there um, they, were, they, weren't, they weren't the best. I played a lot of my time out of position and um, luckily for me, the new manager came in and, and put me up front, played me week in, week out and I, I managed to, to do what I know I always could do and that was score goals and yeah, look, I've just wanted to, to carry on and, and, and keep scoring them sorts of goals and help the team. Um, but now I want to do that at a higher level and I, um, I, believe, I, I believe I can do that. Just how did Gary Johnson, the talkie manager, get the best out of you? He just said, look, not everyone's against you. He said he believes in me and he worked with me on the training ground and a lot of it's instinct, my goals. Um, but he didn't really, he didn't do a lot, a lot for me. He just believed in me and I heard a lot of similarities with the way this manager was talking to, to my old manager and it sounded so familiar with the high pressing and and the way I'm used to playing. So it wasn't, it wasn't magic. It wasn't like he was telling me what to do, but he obviously played a massive part in why I've, I've been successful there. Seems like a really big move for you, this. Yeah, it is massive for me. I'm coming with a, with a point to prove that I can play at a higher level and um, I want to be a proven goal scorer in the, in the Football League, not just in the lower leagues. I think at 25 years old, this is a massive, a massive chance for me and that club had to be right. And, when you turn up to a new club, you kind of just get that feeling. And when I turned up here and I saw the training ground, that's the feeling that I got and I just went with it. Tell us a bit more about you as a player, Jamie. What do you like as an attacker? Um, I like to think that I score goals ultimately. Um, I like to create goals as well. I had a few assists this season as well. Um, I come short, I can go long. I can. I can do a bit of everything really, there's, there's stuff I can improve on like with my back to goal and stuff but give 100% and ultimately it comes down to trying to get three points for the lads and I hope that I can bring that, um, bring that to this team, what I've been doing with Torquay.